everyone and welcome back to another episode of Growing with Tea. Today I want to talk all about my DIY weed killer. If you're having weeds around your garden and I do mean around the garden not inside because you do not want to spray this inside of your garden because this does not have a filter for only weeds. It could kill your plants too. This is specifically to make sure you get around the garden and um, kill the weeds that surrounds it to help control what actually blows into your garden and then produce those weeds. So this is how I made it. I used a gallon of white vinegar. Um, yeah, I got mine from Sam's Club. I use Sam's Club brand. It's fairly cheap. You get two gallon co um, containers for, I think I paid maybe like eight bucks, maybe. I'm not sure, I, I don't even think it was that much. Then you use a cup of salt. I use the Morton um, regular table salt that you use. And then you need a um, tablespoon of dishwashing liquid, and I just use the Dawn brand. And you need a spray bottle. This is my two gallon spray bottle that I usually use when I fertilize my garden. So as a precaution, I'm going to use this to kill the weeds today, but I'm going to make sure I wash this jug out really, really, really good because I do not want this to go over into my garden when the next time comes around for me to fertilize. That would not be good because everything would die. All right, you guys, um, I'm going to go head out to the garden now. Catch you out there. Okay, you guys. As you can see, I have a terrible, terrible weed problem and grass problem growing up along the edge perimeter, you know, around the perimeter of my little garden here. And sorry, this is my little composter, you guys. But um, yeah, it's just growing up even here on the back end. Yeah. And as you can see, my menace, aka my mint. You know, I like mint, don't get me wrong, you guys, but I was not expecting it to go the way. It's very vigorous grower. It tries to find any way it could pop up that it can. It's just the weed. <laughs> it's just like a weed, you know. It's best to grow in containers, in my opinion. Because it will take over your garden. And this is what I planted last year, you guys. It just came back. Okay, so you see what I have to treat. So now I'm going to show you how I go about treating that. All right, so I have pumped up my spray bottle. They say that you want to do this at the sunniest point of the day. Well, you guys, this isn't the sunniest part of my day, but I know that the sun is coming. It's going to be actually 90 some degrees today, so I'm trying to get all of this stuff done now while I still while I have a little bit of time before the sun comes and start blazing me down on my back. So I'm trying to get this done, but as you can see, I'm just using my little sprayer here, getting all good and well over here so that make sure I get it soaked up. And actually, you guys, I'm going to come back a little bit further. I just want to have a good gap here to um, ensure that this stuff have a good space between my garden and... um where you know my fence ends and everything i just want to make sure i get in there good because when i say you guys i do not want any weeds and all this stuff to grow back like this stuff is horrible looking right now and i do not want this yeah i'm gonna just get it good you guys and i'm just gonna go around the perimeter and get this stuff all the way around but I mean you all get the gist of what it is that I am doing and I will sh come back later you guys well it may not be today it may take a little bit longer to work but yeah I'll definitely be back to give you all an update just make sure you take a good look because this will be the part that I probably show you I don't know if I'll go around the whole perimeter I probably will but yeah just to show you guys what it is that I'm where I'm going to be spraying so you can see the difference. All right, you guys. Catch you later.